So now that I've seen that, I'm aware of the offer. I'm gonna click the message button here and let's send that keyword, try me. And once I do that, I'm gonna get the automated response here in just a second. So there we go. We're excited to have you as a new customer. Share your email. Let's type Andrew Demeter at gmail.com. Based on that email in Shopify, it knows that I haven't ordered before. I'm a brand new customer. So then it's gonna generate this discount code for me, right? Here's your discount code, make sure to use it. If I click this link as well, it'll take me directly to the Shopify store. I can order if I want and it'll automatically apply that discount code. Hi there folks, Andrew here at Chatfuel and today I'm gonna to show you how to get up and running with Instagram DM automation for your e-commerce business in just five quick steps. So let's jump in. Step one, you wanna click the link in the description of this video and it'll take you here to this website. Now what you're looking at is the actual chatbot template we're going to use. Don't worry, it might look a little intimidating and complicated. Thankfully, you don't have to understand how it works. Just follow this video. There's a couple tweaks we'll make and you'll be all set. You'll be ready to go. So once you're here, you wanna click this blue save to chat fuel button and this will copy the template to your chat fuel account. Now in a second here, you'll see a list of your chat bots. So if you're a brand new user, you'll just click this create a bot button. But in this case, I already know what chat bot I wanna use. I've previously created it for demo purposes. And so I'm gonna type that in here to find it, Andrew's demo bot, and we'll click save flow. But again, most likely in your case, you're going to click create a bot. And once that new bot is created, you'll also click save flow, and then that'll copy it to your new chat bot that you've created. So now here's the template. So that was step one, copy the template to your chat fuel account. Step two is we wanna go here into the grow tab and this is where we can actually connect the chat fuel account to our Facebook and Instagram pages. Now you might be asking, well, why do I have to connect this to my Facebook page? Unfortunately, that's just how it works with Facebook. That's what we're required to do. There's no way around it. So what you wanna do is connect your Facebook business page. And after you do that, you'll be able to connect your Instagram account that is linked to that Facebook page, right? So pretty simple, step one, copy the template to your Chatfuel account. Step two, connect your pages. And don't worry, at this phase, the Instagram chatbot will not start sending messages to your followers. We have to set that up later on, so don't worry, it's not gonna start sending messages in the DMs just yet. Now, step three, we wanna go back into the automation tab and under setup AI, and this is where we'll set up that keyword which you're gonna promote as a call to action that actually will activate the conversation once a user types it. So in this case, I've already actually set it up. We have the keyword here, try me, and then that is linked to the Instagram flow that we want people to go down once they type that keyword, right? So the conversation will start once they type try me because this keyword is linked to the flow over here. Now, just for sake of demo purposes, I can delete this and reconnect it, show you what that looks like. So again, we can type try me and we'll link to a flow and we'll call it Shopify starter because that's the name of the template that we copied. Okay. So now we're good with the keyword, just two quick steps left. So I'm gonna double click on where it says Shopify starter here. It'll take me back to that template and then we can customize it just a little bit more. And in the meantime, I'm gonna collapse this side panel over here just to give us some more working real estate. And I'm gonna zoom in to the template here by using the two finger vertical scroll on my trackpad. You can also use these plus and minus rockers on the side here, but the two finger vertical scroll is just a bit faster for me. So I prefer it. Anyway, step four here is that we want to create a private Shopify app. This will allow the chatbot to generate discounts on our behalf for new customers, for first time customers. So we have a couple fields to customize here and it's really simple. So the first thing is our store URL. So that's your .myshopify.com URL. So I'm gonna go here into Shopify and copy that and let's go over here and paste it in. Okay, so that's all set up. Now, step two is, as I mentioned, actually creating the private app in Shopify. So I'm gonna go back to Shopify under apps and then manage private apps, and I'm going to click create private app. So this is gonna take just a second here, but it's really simple to set up. You don't need any technical knowledge to do this. 
Okay, so now that we're here, we're gonna fill in some of the details. Let's call this app chat fuel. And I'm gonna type in the email that I wanna use as well. So we'll just paste that in. And then we're gonna click show inactive admin API permissions. And we're gonna set up three permissions here. So the first one is discounts. We'll choose read and write and then orders read and write as well as price rules read and write and then we can click save and create app now this will take just a second to create and once this is done we're going to take the api key that shopify gives us paste that into chat fuel and then the hardest part is over we just have a couple quick tiny steps left okay so i'm going to scroll up and even though I said API key, what we actually want is the password here. Don't worry, this isn't your actual Shopify store password. I can click here to show it if I want, but I'm not going to, but you just click this clipboard here to copy it. And then we're gonna paste that in here in chat field under the password field. Okay, so we've done that. It starts with SHPPA underscore, and now we're all set up there. Now, these other fields that we have to customize are super quick and it's just up to your own preferences. So this, these are all about the type of discount that you wanna generate, right? Because the flow here is the user comes in, they type that keyword, we ask for their email. If based on their email, they're a first time customer, we're gonna give them a discount code. So these are all the discount code settings, right? If you want a fixed amount, like a fixed dollar amount, you can do that. If you want a specific value, you can do that here. So let's say uh, right now, minus 10 in fixed amount, that means $10 off. If I change this to percentage, then this is 10% off. If I change this to 15, it's 15% 15 off, right? So you have all these controls here that you can use to customize whatever type of discount code you wanna generate. So in this case, let's keep it simple. We'll do 15% off. Expiration is how many days after the user gets the discount code do you want it to expire? So based on some testing that we've done, five days seems to be the best, so we'll keep that. But obviously you can you know make it seven days, 30 days, whatever you want here. And then these last two settings, I wouldn't recommend changing, but this allows you to determine if you want the discount code that you generate, the unique discount code, to be able to use by multiple shoppers or just one shopper, and if they can just use it one time or uh, you know a number of times. So again, I wouldn't focus too much on these last settings. I would just keep them as is because that is our recommendation based on testing that we've done. Okay, so now we're all set up with step four. Step five is the last step here, and that is all the way over here, this other yellow note that we've provided. And here is where you can set up the Google Sheet. So the purpose of this is that whenever new users come in, we generate a discount code for them, we capture their email. We wanna send that data somewhere for easy viewing and collection, right? So we have this Google Sheet plugin set up here, and we can connect it. So again, we can centralize that data and kind of export it from the chatbot to a more readable format in one place. So to do that, I'm going to connect my Google account here. I'll choose this email, and then we can click add new spreadsheet. And there we go, it's generated that spreadsheet for us. We'll also add in three attributes here with those actual data fields that we wanna pass through. And those are all named right here. So I'll type those in real quickly. Instagram name, email, and discount underscore, oops, underscore code. Okay, cool. So now if we click where it says users from action, I'll click on that, it'll open the Google Sheet and we can see all of those fields pass through. All right, so now that we've set up everything on the back end in Chatfuel and Shopify, let's actually check out this experience from the user's perspective. So here we are on the Instagram account. Imagine that here in the bio, it says something like DM us the phrase, DM us the keyword, try me for 15% off your first order. So now that I've seen that, I'm aware of the offer. I'm gonna click the message button here and let's send that keyword, try me. And once I do that, I'm gonna get the automated response here in just a second. So there we go. We're excited to have you as a new customer. Share your email. Let's type Andrew Demeter at gmail.com. 
Based on that email in Shopify, it knows that I haven't ordered before. I'm a brand new customer. So then it's going to generate this discount code for me, right? Here's your discount code. Make sure to use it. If I click this link as well, it'll take me directly to the Shopify store. I can order if I want, and it'll automatically apply that discount code. So here we go. Let's buy it now and I'll go through the order process here. In the meantime as well, I'll refresh on Shopify. You can see that that discount code has been automatically generated here. And also if I go into this Google Sheet, you can see that my email is there as well as the discount code that was created by ChatFuel. So here we go, let's finish the checkout here and show you this process end to end. and success. So that is how this Instagram chatbot template works. Again, it integrates with Shopify and the whole goal behind it is to increase first time sales, first time orders from new customers. So if you found this helpful, be sure to leave a like below. If you have any questions whatsoever, happy to answer them. Just leave a comment down below and that's it. So thanks so much for watching and happy botting.